I have got a little Farfetch unboxing to share with you today which I am so so excited about. You all know I love Farfetch, it is the holiday season. If you're buying presents, if you're looking for presents for yourself, it is an amazing place to go because they often have stuff in stock um, just because they're sourcing from so many boutiques across the world. And not just that but they also champion um, new designers, emerging designers, which means you're bound to find something kind of unique on there. I'm so excited to be working with them and as always I've got a code for you. It is 10 Sunbeams YT and that is for 10% off. There are some T's and C's which will be down below as always. I've also got some free people stuff here which I think I mentioned the other day. Um, I bought it like I said for a job and then didn't end up using it for that job and I don't know whether I should keep so the pieces are going to have to be amazing if I'm going to keep them. So I am going to do a try on of those as well. But let's start with the Farfetch unboxing. I'm so excited. So this item came from Browns, which if you don't know is kind of like a historic boutique that was originally based in London. Um, it's kind of famous, I think, for champi championing new designers. So the first item is this totem jumper. I think it's called the Cambridge roll neck. I've actually never had a totem piece before. So yes, I imagine it's not going to look like much if I hold it up, but hopefully in the try on you can see a little bit better. I said this on Instagram the other day, but I don't know if this is just me, but I consider myself a kind of jumper influencer. I love a good jumper and I feel like over the years, if I find a good jumper, I stick with it. And I do have, I think, one kind of smart looking black jumper but I actually don't have many black ones so I'm hoping that this one will fill that gap in my wardrobe because yes I'd like a nice versatile black jumper um, that will last me many years. So here is the jumper on. I love it. Um, looking a little bit sort of wide on camera I suppose but it doesn't quite look like that in um, real life but let's tuck it in. How nice is that? I do actually like it untucked as well, which is a bit of a rarity for me in a jumper. So I think that's nice, but obviously it looks really nice tucked. Yeah, just look at that. How nice is that? Obsessed. I don't also usually like roll necks. Um, I don't know, they don't always suit me, but this one is nice, I think because it's quite dramatic. So yes, that is the first item. Big fan. And sorry about the lighting in here, by the way. It's miserable outside, so we've got to have the overheads on. Okay, next up we have two, <laughs> you're probably going to laugh at me, but two jackets slash coats. Um, yes, you all know my style is predominantly something basic underneath, a good pair of jeans, a good shaped t-shirt, and a coat or a jacket. I just, statement coats or jackets are my thing it's a little ridiculous because they're not the easiest to store so first up i'm so excited about this one this is another regina pio blazer you may remember that i got a red one like a red like a washed red one earlier this year and i've worn it so much over summer it's been like the perfect summer blazer you'd think the color wouldn't be that versatile but i've worn it loads and so i got another regina pio blazer look at this it's like a teddy bear version. I mean, can we just, that is incredible. It's so unique looking. I've never kind of seen a blazer like this. It's one of those pieces that I think when someone passes you in the street and it, you're like, where's that from? So excited to try that one on. And also literally practically, it's just gonna be a nice warmer blazer for the winter months. I mean, can we just, <gasps> It's just like, I love it so much. So it comes with this little tie thing and I will untie it now, but I do really like it tied if you do want to give yourself a bit of shape and because it is of this material, it's not going to crease your blazer or anything, but this is what it looks like untied. I just love it. I've never seen a blazer like this one before. And as I suspected, you know, I've got my old faithful white tee and jeans on and it just looks incredible. <laughs> I just want all Regina Pio blazers ever to exist. Um, also love all the buttons she puts on her blazers. This one's really cool. It's like a kind of like a scalloped square, tort uh, rectangular tortoiseshell. Okay and finally 
I mentioned on my Instagram that I loved this coat and when I saw it on Parfetch I was like oh, I have to have it. <laughs> so I did get, I think it's called the Millie coat, it's kind of a thing at the moment but the Millie coat from Rixo. It's like a patchwork suede coat and just look at that incredible yes it's one of those coats that just looks again is a bit of a showstopper but it's predominantly brown so hopefully it should um work well in my wardrobe so those are my far-fetch pieces so so excited about those by the way i got the millie jacket in a medium i ummed and ahed over should i get it in a small in a medium but i thought better to get it slightly bigger for me so i could wear jumpers underneath it possibly because i think it's slightly fitted and i will write the other sizes down below but i remember specifically thinking carefully about the size on the millie jacket <laughs> look at this how nice these look on um i am glad i got it in the bigger size because like i said i think i'll be able to layer bits under it um a little bit easier but it does fit nicely even with just a t-shirt under but i can tell i've got a little bit more room to play with um but it is lovely when it's kind of super slim line as well so it just depends what you how you want to wear it basically i am obsessed cannot wait to wear this everywhere um, I think it's one of those coats that looks really nice done up as well. Probably wouldn't wear it with trainers. I don't know. I'm not loving that. Bigger success on this far fetch haul. Moving on to the free people bits now. I have been eyeing up these trousers for the longest time. They look comfy. They're a bit stretchy. They're kind of knitted, so hopefully they'll be warm. Um, but I have no idea how these are going to fit. But I am really excited about the pattern on them. I just think the pattern's really cool um, and would make for a nice look kind of statement um, trouser. I wonder also how they look with the Millie coat. I feel like either they'd go really well or completely clash. So here are the trousers on my loves. Don't know what to make of these. I think probably I don't like them enough to keep them. Um, I feel like they could be a little looser through the thigh, which might be just me getting the wrong size. And I also feel like the colours on the website looked a little different. Um, like a little bit darker and they're actually quite light so I think these are probably a no but I wish they had worked because I do love how they look on the website. I have also been eyeing up this t-shirt for the longest time. I love graphic tees but I find it really hard to find one that I really really like um, but I've been looking at this kind of queen of hearts one for ages. Also it's a long sleeve and I don't have many long sleeves so we'll see how this one looks on as well. So this is the t-shirt on. What do we think? I'm not sure about the fit of this one because I feel like it's too slope shouldered. Can't decide if I like it or really don't like it. <laughs> Which means it probably needs to go back. I don't know, they also do this one in lots of different colours so if it kind of appeals to you, they do it in a nice black as well. I think it does look nice. I'm just not sure about something about the shoulders. And finally, we have another jumper in a kind of, I think they call this mustard, but it doesn't look mustardy at all to me. It kind of looks it on camera maybe, but it looks pretty orange in real life, kind of a pumpkin colour. Um, and again, this just looked like a really nice shape. So we'll have to see what it looks like on, but they've got this in loads of colours as well. Um, so if you like how it looks on, um, but you don't want this colour, they've got lots of different colours. So my loves. Here is the jumper on. I am really liking it. Um, it's just that perfect material that kind of flops and falls nicely. Can't remember what size I got this in, but I will leave it down below. I can't remember if I got it kind of in my size or slightly oversized. In fact, let me just look. Okay, I got it in a small, so you definitely don't need to size up in this one. Love the sleeves. Just, yeah, I think this is a really nice shaped jumper and a good kind of staple um, and I like it in this colour too. Um, it's nice to have this sort of shade in my wardrobe especially because I've got a lot of brown going on. Um, I think it suits and works with brown really nicely. Right my loves, this is what I've decided to wear today. Um, got my nice new totem jumper on. Um, I've got these redone Levi's jeans which I've had for a while and then I've got my Prada shoes on but whether I'm actually going to go outside again I don't know <laughs> um, but I just thought we'd just do a little all black moment today so that's what we're doing 
But anyway, my loves, next on my list for the day is to do a lot of editing. Um, I've got, well actually it's not, I guess it's not a lot compared to what I have been doing. Um, but I've got a couple of videos to edit, a couple of vlogmases, and we'll see how we get on from there. I think I had a few more things on my list. I really want to book myself in for a Debbie Thomas facial, or maybe two facials, um, because, yes, my hormones must be changing again, because I'm definitely experiencing hormonal skin issues. Plus, I've been picking at it, so it just needs a whole big refresh. Um, so what I might do is book myself in for like one of their DNA facials, get them to do all the extractions and all of that sort of thing, and then for the following week, book something more intense, like with laser, because I find if you go in just for the one with laser, um, they might not have a lot of time to do the actual laser bit, because they do all the extractions and stuff first, so doing consecutive treatments, like in a short space of time, I think can be really effective. Um, so I think I might book myself in for something like that. So I wanted to do that today, and I had something else on my list, but I can't remember what it was. But anyway, definitely time to go and do some editing now. So I've had one of those days where I've just been sat in front of the computer editing all day and I hate having vlogmas days where I'm editing vlogmas. It seems to kind of defeat the purpose. <laughs> but um, just need to keep on top of it basically and stay ahead of the game a little bit. So that is what I'm trying to do. So I had a couple videos to edit today, that's probably why it took me so long. I haven't really taken a break all day. I had a bowl of pasta, um, which I just kind of extremely quickly and then got back to it so I'm just taking 10 minutes to kind of recalibrate and breathe and then I'm gonna go and see my baby but yes I wanted to speed through as much as possible hence no breaks today so I could just go and see my baby girl yes I really miss out on the days that I am doing more work so I'm excited to go and see her now I think it's time for a snack or something I need a snack I'm gonna head to bed, play with the baby, fed her some dinner, got her in bed, and now I'm gonna head to bed myself because if I do not get ready for bed and get into bed almost immediately after I put the baby down, I end up staying up way too late. So I'm gonna get into bed. I might watch something whilst in bed. I've said the word bed too many times now, but <laughs> I might watch something whilst I'm in bed, but I just need to be in it, you know, ready to go. <laughs> Otherwise, it's never gonna happen. Just turn the white noise off for you, but obviously gonna take my makeup off first. So I'm gonna do that now. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, I'm excited about tomorrow because we're gonna shoot, so I'm gonna wear some of my new bits. Yeah, we'll be out and about tomorrow, so hopefully that will be a bit more exciting. I've got so much to do tomorrow, so that's another reason why I wanna get to bed because I've gotta get up early, like maybe pre-baby early. So yes, most definitely time to get some rest. I feel like I've been hit by a truck. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching today. I will see you tomorrow.